Hello Solidos Power Users, this is Alin Vergato from Trimax Solutions with another top secret enhancements in Solidos 2023. I say it's top secret because it wasn't included in the What's New document, so you're not going to be able to learn about it unless you stumble over it. It's all about flexible assemblies. Now, to be clear, there are improvements on flexible assemblies that are listed in... Um, in the what's new document so you can see there is actually a whole chapter about how easy it is to select flexible assemblies and flexible components but that's about it well let's see what actually happens on the left i have solidworks 2022 service pack 5 on the right i have solidworks 2023 service pack 2.1 so what i'm trying to do is to change the status of multiple sub-assemblies to flexible. Notice here I have five copies of the same assembly. Um, if I select one, you can see the option to make it flexible. I can click, turns into flexible, I can move it, right? I can move its components, looks, looks good. What about if I want to select multiple ones? Let's say all these four. Notice the option is not there. You might say, okay, what if you right click and you go to uh, component properties can I turn it to flexible and notice how this is grayed out so you cannot do that in bulk if you have lots of assemblies you have to do a very tedious process by clicking one at a time to turn it to flexible now it, it does work but then if you want to turn all of them to rigid again you have to go one at a time the moment you select more than one that disappears. Let's see how this works in SOLIDWORKS 2023. So I'm gonna select just one of them. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select all components of the same type. I hope you know that that's not new in SOLIDWORKS. And then if I right click or left click, I'm gonna have the ability to turn all of them to flexible, right? What about turning all of them back to rigid? Absolutely no problem. Seems like a small improvement but for some of us this is a major enhancement that's going to save us so much time and also it's going to save us a lot of frustration so this is the fourth undocumented enhancement in solidworks 2023 that you saw in our videos stay tuned for more thank you